Three. What'd you think of the taga? Go Dubs, thank you for the free taco. How did it taste? Tastes like failure. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Right, and the fields are ripe for harvest because we're chasing something that uh, a relationship and a conversation with someone who just doesn't want to hear the words of life from us. So sometimes you have to use some discernment about the investment of your time you and your energy in conversation. conversation. Bikes out of the car, made it through Winnemucca over to Elko. Now it's time for a little walk. Stop, Elko! Where are we, man? No idea. We're on an adventure. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. No one does what we're doing just now. Hey, have you ever slept on the shoes of San Francisco? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Who, who is that with? This crazy motherfucker. <laughs> Who's a licensed attorney? Have you ever gone down mysterious streets in Elko, Nevada? One time. Yeah? One time, yeah. Was that with anybody else? You know, coincidentally, it was with my cemetery. <laughs> My and uh, it's a thrill. It's a thrill. And now all you gotta do is make it home this time. That's it. But I'm confident. I will. <laughs> Dude, don't fuck up a biker yeah, shit. Elko, having fun, eating, what you got there, brother? Mediterranean salad, booyah, prime rib sandwich, out. Where to now, brother? Off to the land of Latter-day Saints. Oh, yeah. Like we're riding on a mirror full of cocaine and the mountains are snoring it all up. This election season, every vote Salt Lake City. Whoop whoop! No cussing, no caffeine, no drugs, no alcohol. Yes, on underwear. Just fun. Just pure wholesome fun. Home of the Utes. The two Utes. Here we are in SLC. And it looks like a very beautiful, clean place. What we're looking for is anybody of color. Here's one. Hi, sir. How do you like SLC? I just created diversity. <laughs> I am the uh, Diversity Commissioner of Salt Lake City. And I shall join you. Anybody see Temple? I'm right here. Where's the Temple? I think we're close. We can try to get off this one. Thank you. 
Are you listening to her? She gives very good direction. That's what I heard. We're heading out now. We're on Route 6, leaving Salt Lake City, and made some observations there. Uh, one thing is that uh, Salt Lake City sucks. <laughs> That's the name of this park. Well, you, you have to qualify the sucky aspects of it. They need a new city planner. Yeah. First of all, we somehow passed the biggest landmark in the entire city for two blocks and didn't even realize it because the signage just stopped existing. That was that was bad. The street streets are long numbers with a north, south, east, or west after it, and then the direction will say north. 5,072 east. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't at all. That doesn't make sense. And when you throw in a building number onto that, you've got two numbers, <laughs> four directions, and I'm not even sure what I'm looking at anymore. And it then, looks like a zip code. And then the street lights, they last like about three seconds. Yeah, so, they let two cars through and they're yellow. So in the end, I think the best that can be said is that we're happy they were leaving that place. And it took us a while to leave that place. Yeah. And that... Uh, trying to keep us in. See, see reference to city planning, need for city planning. We couldn't quite get to the right freeway. So what's there to do out here? Made it. You made it. All right. Yeah. Use caution when pulling into and out of designated areas. Drive carefully, wear your seatbelt, and enjoy your visit to Archie's National Park. This is Traveler's Information Station, KLP 795. Welcome to Archie's National Park, one of the world's greatest concentrations of natural stuff. It's literally 90 degrees, and we're about to jump in the pool for the last 20 minutes of the open time. Sweetness. Do it. Let's do it. After this, some dinner, but very relaxing. Walking. Uh, yeah. Moab. What, to, what As time? As you can tell, it's uh, eleven thirty. Shh. Might wake the neighbors. It's eleven thirty on a Wednesday. Uh, it's uh, it's all packed in for the night. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not. Uh, but what are you eating, man? Uh, I'm I'm hungry. Uh, let's see. This this will not work. Nope. The gallery, the rain dance, southwestern gifts will not. Work. Spot. Oh, there's somebody. There's somebody right there. Maybe we could. Signs of life. Maybe we could find out something. Signs of life. I think we can. We can extrapolate some information. I bet you that Wendy's is even close. <laughs> let's see. So what's going on over here, man? We're using this device that I have that has all human knowledge on it to verify, to confirm or deny what the 7-Eleven employee uh, stated to us that there's a Denny's half a mile from the 7-Eleven. That's what he said. That's what he said. Checking to see. No vacancy, dude. No vacancy, bro. You can take that elsewhere. All right, we're about to head embark on our first mountain biking journey. And we're heading from Moab to Canyonlands National Park. James and I did some, some preliminary research to see if uh, there's a, a 
trail we can do without it being an 85 mile Sherpa led three day journey through the uh, canyon or on our way to the visitor center. What are some things uh, we're anticipating, excited about? What are some concerns perhaps? Uh, dying of heat, exhaustion would be a good one or a bad one. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Straight from the horse's mouth. Okay, get me a horse. All right, we made it. Let's get this show on the road. I'm about to wake up. Just in in great time too, because I think that drive, that drive kind of just woke you up. <laughs> Canyonlands National Park. All right, we are. About an hour and a half in from where we parked on the Schaefer Trail, Canyonlands National Park. Uh, it was a steady ride, uh, some fun downhills, and uh, here we are on the ledge. What do you think, James? I think, thank God, for clouds. It's, uh, it's a pretty hot day, but it's couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. Yeah, we're, we are definitely buying stock in clouds. Clouds is improving. And water. Water. Um, sand on road. Stock dropping. We're selling that. We're selling sand on road. And uh, what else are we selling? No shade. Shade. We're, we're sh selling on no shade. Weird thing about a desert. No cover. It's cool, right? Really dug it. Yeah, it's good. Uh, about three hours out and back. Uh, we started on the Schaefer Trail. Uh, from the visitor center, drove down to the fork between the Schaefer Trail. That drive's and, no joke, too. Yeah. No hairy. It's uh, some South American uh, <laughs> roughest roads kind of stuff. See it on Travel Channel. Came down to the fork in the trail. Uh, what's the name of that one? Starts with a P. We decided to go with the White Rim Trail, which apparently is the most popular one. And we went in about an hour and a half. Came back and finally made it uh observations beautiful gorgeous silent absolutely so. silent no shade no cover from the time <laughs> you still there you still there can you hear me so there's no shade uh we need some cover in it there we go uh what else did we notice uh, I didn't see a lot of animals. Maybe nah, some some reptiles. I think it was daytime. They were like chilling out. What else? Lots of cool. Well, when you take a step back, and James pointed this out, you could see, you know, it's the crumbling cliffs. These huge rocks that just tumble. And if you don't focus in on it, it just looks like a cliffside. But then when you take a step back, it just looks like a crumbling cookie. It was it was awesome. Awesome beauty. And uh, we went to Arches yesterday, and it was it was definitely different than that. So, really happy we, we made the trip. And, and we were the only ones on bikes. And one guy stopped and said, you guys are crazy. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. And maiden voyage of the Chaffee bike. Chaffeeicle. <laughs> the Chaffeeicle. And now, we're probably going to get some uh, one shape bikes or something. Out. All right, we're here at the Colorado River, about two miles outside of Moab. We rode our bikes here with flip flops on. That's how casual we are. We listen to Jack Johnson music. <laughs> Hey, don't hey. get dragged in, man. Chilly Willy, nice and crisp. So we're here at the Fiesta, Fiesta, uh, Fiesta restaurant in Moab. And uh, to tell you the truth, I was really thinking that it was going to be maybe a level below even or kind of like Chevy's but rock. It's good. Check it out. Taco salad. Might not look good now. Uh, 
Just some mixed pizza. So toast at it. Let's get the drink. How's my migraine? Yeah. Everything's good. The trip to Moab rock, man. Captain's log. Star date. Sometime in June. 2016. 3.475. Northwest. Northwest, 600 south. All right, leaving Moab. It was cool town, uh, a little on touristy side. Now we are off to Colorado. Durango. Durango, Colorado. In the Rockies Mountains. What do we think? About Durango? I'm not sure. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't ask this. You can what answer about, whichever. Yeah. What do I think? I think uh, clean skies are beautiful. Nature is wonderful. And I'm not so bad myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're gonna uh, inner tube, inflatable tube down the it's meant to Animus, Animus River. Thank you. Attract, uh, then we're gonna do some sort of bike ride. We're not sure what, uh, where yet, and either through the forest or to what's called Baker's Bridge, which you jump off the, the bridge into the water. Website. That'd be cool. And then we're gonna play some ball. <laughs> that's that's a day. That's pretty much a day right there. That's a day. And all you kids need to get off my lawn. <laughs> and until then, we're going to chill in these lounges and drink some prune juice. And nothing was sacred save staying alive. And all that I learned from a Colt 45 was to curse the smell of the black powder smoke. Ready to score coring. Doing pianos. We are leaving Durango, Colorado. Somewhat sadly, very cool town. We're, very cool town. We're heading back to the desert. Um, Durango is awesome. I recommend visiting there to anybody. Cool people, great food at great prices. And uh, all in all, just 
awesome place. And now we're headed back. Uh, we're heading to Taos. We're gonna see how that's like. I have a feeling we're gonna melt our faces and not do rock and roll. Back to melting Adobe. Sonic Burger for the first time. Uh, yes, I would like a number two combination with a Coke. Fries or tater tots? Uh, fries. Man, mustard, and ketchup on the burger? Uh, sure, both. All three, man, mustard, and ketchup? Yes. Anything else? Uh, yes, I'd also like a Hatch Green Chili Cheeseburger. Anything else? That would be it. It'll be 1313, I'll be right out. Thank you. Alrighty. Sweet. Alright, we just had Sonic, so nothing more fitting than a Sonic style Sonic recap. I thought the burger was good, fresh. Just could like, use a better bun, but what do you think? Yeah, sounds like me. Fresh could use better buns. And with that, we're out. All right, we made it to Taos. Made it out of Durango, made it out of Colorado, made it to Mexico. We tried to go to the Pueblo in town, rode our bikes. Uh, we happened to miss a sign that prohibits pedestrians and bike riders from going onto tribal land. So we got a little talking to by the guy running the gate. Turns out the Pueblo was closed today anyway. So we biked through town and it took us about 15 minutes. And here we are at a former gas station turned cafe. Some wings and some fries. Sweet. And nectar of the gods. Cheers. Cheers. Leaving towels. In two miles, take exit 157A for Rio Grande Boulevard. We made it. Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Not as hot as I expected. Hey, it came out as a totally different truck. <laughs> Slight left onto New Mexico 536 West. Sandia Crest. We're approximately 10,000 feet in elevation above the city of Albuquerque. James, do you think you could uh, jump down from here? Yes. What town, New Mexico? Not that old Mexico. Wait, it's old New Mexico. Old, old New Mexico? <laughs> Find a good place to eat? Yes. All right. Let's roll. Food and belly. What kind of food are we going to eat in New Mexico? New Mexican. Sweet. All 
right. Thank you. Cuisine Azul in Albuquerque. We got some new Mexican cuisine. I got the chile relleno with this brine pork on it. Jamo got the uh, ribeye steak burrito. Sides are pasta, butter and squash, rice, beans. Two types of salsa. And you gotta have a nice cold beer. Cheers. Sweating in an air conditioned car. It's how hot it is here. In Laughlin. In Laughlin, Nevada. The hottest place. The hottest place with the most expensive beers. <laughs> but we're going to enjoy that. Now off to LA. Off to LA. All right. Nothing. Nothing for miles. Beautiful Los Angeles haze. The high school jam jet kicked out of. <laughs> Montebello, California. Montebello, California. Hi, Mom. Hi. 